as you may have heard, AI is having a very busy year. With generative AI, we are taking the next step. Gemini can understand the world around us in the way that we do. Gemini on its own has the ability to transform software development as we understand it. It's to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Really, I believe in the company's mission, and I think Gemini is a great step in that overall mission. I'm super proud and excited to announce the launch of the Gemini era, a first step towards a truly universal AI model. Wow, there has been so much hype and exciting news about generative AI recently. It really has so much potential to shape how we interact with the apps and services we use every day. It's almost overwhelming. One of the latest developments is on-device AI. While it's still early, there's already incredible scope to what it could do for me as a developer and as an Android user. I had an opportunity to speak with Adrian from the Android machine learning team to learn about how a large language model was put on devices. I know this isn't an easy thing to do, so I couldn't wait to hear more. With generative AI training in the industry, we knew developers would want to build experiences that needed to leverage LLMs. However, we were worried about multiple apps needing to call server APIs or download multiple LLMs onto phones, which isn't scalable and would cause latency, storage, or system health problems. We realized Google and Android were in the perfect position to come up with a solution before this became a problem. So how did you approach it? Well, the DeepMind team was already developing Gemini Nano, which is Google's smallest LLM. The idea came from a hackathon where we were able to put an early version of Gemini Nano on the device. We realized we needed to create the infrastructure to help get the LLM on devices safely and then manage and maintain it. That's how Android's AI Core was born. At this year's Mobile World Congress, I got to see that AI Core and Gemini Nano are available on the Pixel 8 Pro and Samsung S24 devices. And I heard there will be more coming later this year. I wanted to learn about how an actual app was able to leverage this technology, so Adrian introduced me to Christy Bradford, a product manager from the Pixel team. So Recorder helps people capture, rediscover, and then share important conversations and audio moments. But when someone has several recordings saved on their phone, it can be very challenging to remember what those conversations were about, even more challenging to try and quickly scan through all of those files. We decided to build an AI-powered feature to help people summarize the conversations they had. It was our top user feature request since 2022. When we first started experimenting with this idea, we built the feature using Cloud Cloud, since those were the only solutions available at the time. So what inspired the switch from Cloud to Gemini Nano? So user privacy is a top priority, and we've really wanted our most privacy-centric users, which for Recorder is roughly half of our users, to be able to use such a highly requested feature. This caused us to pause the project at the time. We kept our ears open, though, um, because LLM work within Google was moving very fast, and when we heard Adrian's team was working on developing an on-device solution to utilize these powerful models, we reached out to learn more. We were pleasantly surprised with Gemini Nano's reduced latency and with how capable the model was, despite it being much smaller than what we used during prototyping. And honestly, if I can brag a little, we built and deployed this feature in only four months with just a few engineers, which is really impressive and a lot faster than we originally anticipated. We were surprised how much of a time, resource, and cost savings we were able to have with AI Core. There are some really cool things already being built with this technology, like Circle to Search. It's so exciting to think about what's possible. Christy, Adrian, and I soon began talking about what other innovations we'd love to see in the future for on-device AI. So I'd love to see more personalization down to the individual level. I think we're nearly to the point where even everyday things like your morning alarm or commute route to work are not one size fits most, but one size fits you. Uh, for example, if the traffic is looking late and my first work meeting was canceled while I was sleeping, can my phone's clock app adapt and let me sleep an extra 15 minutes? Personally, I'd like to see something that will help me summarize and search for videos of my dog. I have so many great ones, but I don't want to have to watch them all to find the one I'm looking for. Those are fun. I'd really like to see an improvement in how expressions are translated. For example, I tend to translate expressions directly from French, but what if AI could do this for me with the correct idioms? 
Looking forward, there will be more everything. More devices, more features, more models, as well as going beyond text. What people are seeing now is just the very first iteration and where we were a few months ago. But we already have a lot more coming down the pipeline. Now the wheels are turning in my brain about all the ways I could leverage Gen AI in my projects. Click here to learn more about how you can get started with Gen AI on device.